Welcome to the Delaware Mortgage Rate Weekly Mortgage Market Update for the week of December 2nd, 2013. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Primary Residential Mortgage, here to give you your update. Well, last week we did see mortgage rates move slightly higher. If you look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see mortgage bonds sold off the previous week, traded in a tight range this week, and then sold off to end the week. Uh, on slow holiday trading. So we are going to recommend floating your Delaware mortgage rate to start the week to see if the bond can improve. Um, we did have light trading week to end the week so that slight sell off may or may not be indicated of the markets. We are going to recommend floating your Delaware mortgage rate to start the week. We did have some good economic reports come out last week. The first one being the weekly initial jobless claims came out on Wednesday and claims came in at uh, $10,000 low, 10,000 claims lower than the previous week at 316,000 claims. That's the lowest reading on initial jobless since September 28th. But numbers are difficult to calculate because we're into the holiday season with uh, seasonal employment. So we'll have to see how those numbers pan out as the holiday season continues. Uh, then we had a reading on Consumer Sentiment Index in late November 2013. Rose more than expected 75.1 above the final reading for October, which was 73.2. Now the rise was due in part to wealthy Americans feeling better about the economy because um, they were benefiting from rising stock prices because we had record high stock prices and low interest rates. On the other hand, lower income households are still concerned about job growth, as you can see from the weekly jobless claims still in the 300,000s. And unemployment rate is 7.3%, and the um, labor force participation rate is the lowest it's been in 35 years. So that's why the lower social economics are definitely concerned about job growth. Now, in the housing news, we did see pending home sales come out on Monday for October 2013. It was reported down by 0.6%, which was below expectations of a gain of 1.1%. Pending home sales measure the number of contracts signed in October to purchase existing homes. This was the fifth consecutive month of declines in pending home sales, but the good news is the bulk of the decline was in the western states. Um, in the western United States, it does not affect in Delaware. Um, if we look at building permits for September and October, are both reported higher than expected. Permits for September up 5.2% at 974,000, and permits for October up 6.2% at 1.034 million. Um, so this is very encouraging from home builders, and building permits are up 13.9% from year over year, which shows buyers are still in the market to buy new homes. And then we had the Case-Shiller 20 City Home Price Index, which was up 0.7% from September to, uh, from August to September, and it's up 13.3% year over year. That's the largest increase in seven and a half years for home prices. And now Schiller did state in an interview that he's not worried about a real estate bubble, and he does see the rate of appreciation start to begin slowing down as uh, we go into 2014. Home prices are still going to go up, but not at 13%. Um, so it's still a good time to buy because you will get appreciation this year and next year. And then in the local news, Newcastle County Vacant Home Buyer Assistance Program called the VHAP is officially out of funding for the rest of 2013. You had to have your application to the county by the 27th of November in order to reserve funds for this year. Now they are expecting funds to come back in January 2014. So if you want to use the VHAP program, you're not going to probably be able to close at the earliest to the end of January because you've got to wait to make application till the funds come back in hopefully the beginning of January. So we'll keep you updated on that. But the Newcastle County DPS program for down payment assistance is still available and you can still reserve those funds. So if you need that, let us know. We can certainly help you out with that. You can call us the office 302-703-0727 or you can apply online for those programs at www.pmidelaware.com. Also in the local news, we got the next free first time home buyer seminar. That is in Newark, and that is December 14th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Christiana Hilton Hotel. And then the next one in Dover is January 11, 2014, and that's at the Holiday Inn in Dover on Route 13, again on a Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. You can register for either one of those events by giving us a call in the office, 302-703-0727, or online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Now, if you'd like to get a quick, free, fast pre-approval for FHA, VA, USDA, conventional, any of those programs, we can certainly help you out. 302-703-0727 or online, www.pmidelaware.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.